So at least five people have been killed and more than 36 others injured as a part of the foothold bridge collapsed outside the CST in the Indian city of Mumbai. Over 10 people are feared to be trapped under the debris while the injured are being shifted to nearby hospitals. The mishap happened during the rush hour at Mumbai's busiest station, which also serves as the headquarters of the Central Railways. Now, the state government has offered a compensation of about 5 lakh rupees for the immediate kin of the deceased. Meanwhile, Maharashtra Chief Minister Devendra Fadnavis has said that he has ordered for a high-level inquiry into the collapse. The British lawmakers have voted to seek a delay in Britain's exit from the European Union. And now the stage is all set for Prime Minister Theresa May to renew efforts to get her divorce deal approved by the Parliament by next week. The option for now is to request a short delay if a Brexit deal can indeed be reached by the 20th of March, that is in the next five days, or a longer delay if a deal can be agreed upon in real time. Meanwhile, the British Parliament has voted against a second possible referendum, turning down a chance to hold the public voting on Brexit's future. Now, the Labour Party leader, Jeremy Corbyn, had suggested for a public vote, saying that it would be realistic to, in fact, break the deadlock. However, the members of the Parliament voted against this proposal, arguing that the second referendum could, in fact, come even later in, in case there is a necessity for it and even strong backers of a second referendum were pretty lukewarm about the voting process, saying that the focus for the time being should be on achieving an extension on the Brexit deadline by negotiating with the European Union. Now, on the other hand, European Union's chief Brexit negotiator, Michel Barnier, has refused to comment on the extension request on, the, on Brexit, stating that the current Brexit deal is the only one that is presently available and it is indeed preferable if Britain were to accept it. Now, speaking at a summit in Bucharest, Michel Barnier held up a copy of the withdrawal treaty, saying that the current divorce deal was preferable to a no deal or to a hard Brexit or to a disorderly separation of Great Britain from the European Union. The actor Jossie Smollett from a famous American series called Empire has pleaded not guilty in a Chicago court for fa falsely reporting on an assault charge. The Jossie Smollett has been charged for allegedly filing a false report and also staging a hate crime. Now, according to a report that was filed by Smollett, he said Rather, he claimed that he was attacked by two men who yelled anti-gay slurs and also threw a bleach-like chemical on him and referenced Trump's Make America Great Again slogan. However, earlier this month, a grand jury in Illinois had charged Smollett on 16 felony counts for false reporting and also lying over the assault, which they described as actually staged by Jussie Smollett to increase his fame. But the U.S. Senate has passed a proposal to terminate President Donald Trump's declaration of an emergency at the southern border. The 59-41 to 41 vote marks the second Senate rebuke of Donald Trump in a span of just two days. But Trump's plans to reject the bill by vetoing it in a tweet after the voting, Donald Trump has said that he is in fact looking forward to vetoing the just-passed Democrat-inspired resolution and has thanked the Republicans for supporting the wall. But the Chinese electronics giant Huawei has entered a not guilty plea in the United States case charging the company of violating the Iranian trade sanctions. The company was arraigned on an indictment that was filed in a federal court in Brooklyn. Prosecutors have accused Huawei of using a Hong Kong front company to trade with Iran in violation of the US sanctions. They've also alleged that the daughter of Huawei's founder Meng Wanzhou has lied to banks about those dealings while serving as the company's chief financial officer. Remember, Meng Wanzhou has been arrested in Canada earlier this year and is presently awaiting extradition to the United States. So far, she has denied the allegations.
The Saudi Arabia's Human Rights Commission has dismissed an international investigation into the Jamal Khashoggi murder case. And this comes after Turkey said that Interpol had issued a red corner notice for about 20 people in connection with the murder case. Now, the Turkish authorities had requested for red corner notices for about 18 suspects on the 15th of November and for two others on the 21st of December in 2018. Now, the head of Saudi's rights commissions, Bandar bin Muhammad al Eban had said that those accused were already facing justice within the kingdom. According to the findings that have been presented by the Polish Catholic Church, as many as about 382 children were sexually abused by the clergy in Poland between the years 1990 and 2018. The report follows investigations into widespread abuse of minors by members of the clergy in other nations as well, notably in Chile, the United States, Australia and Ireland that has shaken the Roman Catholic Church to its very foundations. The Polish bishops last year had asked victims of the past clerical abuse for forgiveness and began collecting data to identify the causes of those deeds and also assess their scale. Now, Ecuador has announced its withdrawal from the Union of South American Nations. Ecuador has started the procedures for its formal exit considering the regional entity was transformed into a political platform. Last April, Argentina, Brazil, Chile, Peru, Colombia and Paraguay announced that they will stop participating indefinitely in UNESUR. Now, Colombia had announced its definitive withdrawal just months later by ensuring that the agency has been an accomplice to the government of Nicolas Maduro. Investigators in France will begin analysing the crushed Ethiopian Airlines jet's black boxes today, seeking clues into the disaster. But the flight data and also the cockpit voice recorders have landed in the headquarters of the Bureau of Inquiry and Analysis for Civil Aviation Safety. Now, the French Bureau has previously analysed crashes, including the 2009 crash of Air France Flight 447 from Rio de Janeiro to Paris. The German Wings Flight 9525, which crashed into the Alps, and also the 2000 Air Force Air France crash of the Concorde. The Hamas forces in the Gaza Strip were forcibly dispersed. Hundreds of the Palestinians were protesting against the dire living conditions in the blockaded territory. Video circulated on social media show the police firing live rounds in the air and also beating protesters and hauling them into police vehicles. The Hamas says that it is in fact restoring order after the demonstrators burned tires and also blocked roads. Now, the Islamic State militants, along with women and children, have surrendered in, the, in their hundreds in the U.S.-backed forces in eastern Syria after losing ground in their last shred of territory. Now, the militants surrendered during a pause in the U.S.-backed assault to seize the final patch of populated Islamic State territory. Now, the civilians evacuated from the area have been sent to a camp for the displaced. The United Nations Population Fund said that more than 53,000 have arrived at the camp since December, mainly women and children. Now, the United Nations has raised almost about $7 billion in terms of aid pledges for Syria after eight years of civil war. The European Union, the world's biggest aid donor, has pledged almost about 2 billion euros for this year. And the European Commissioner for Humanitarian Aid has said that the participants in the donors conference sent a strong message that a political solution could turn Syria into a stable, democratic and prosperous country. Now, Syria has of course become the world's largest refugee crisis with more than about 5.6 million Syrians fleeing to Jordan, Lebanon, Iraq and Egypt.
former British soldier will be prosecuted for two murders in the bloody Sunday killings of 13 unarmed Catholic civil rights martyrs in Londonderry by British paratroopers in 1972. Now, the prosecutor announced that there was sufficient evidence to prosecute the soldiers for the murder of James Ray and also William McKenney for the attempted murders of four other people. Now, the brother of the victims has said that he was relieved by the decision but extremely saddened for the other families who are still seeking justice. All right, now a cafe in Brooklyn is offering stretch and snuggle exercise classes with a room that is filled with cats. The participants can exercise and also play with the cats and can even, if they are interested, adopt one of these cute felines. The Brooklyn's Cat Cafe opened in 2016 and is operated entirely by animal rescue volunteers and over a thousand cats have been adopted since then. So an intense winter storm called Bomb Cyclone has slammed the state of Colorado with snow and hurricane force winds. The cyclone is now threatening towns in the central United States with heavy rains, flooding and even tornadoes. Over 148 vehicles were stuck in the storm and around 75 people have been rescued by the Colorado National Guard. Now, there have been no fatalities but there were injuries ranging from minor to serious. Right now, a tornado has touched down in Kentucky, leaving some damage, but no immediate reports of any injuries. The twister left a path in western Kentucky from Love Lace Well yeah, to the West Paducha area. A local resident has filmed the forming of the cyclone as it moved across a field of trees in Paducha. And weather forecasters say that numerous severe storms are possible beginning Thursday afternoon in the Tennessee Valley region and as far south as the northern Birmingham area. <laughs> now, a number of young people are organizing a large demonstration on climate change called the March of the Century in Paris on Saturday. The members of the Youth for Climate Movement in France will call on the government to take some concrete action for the environment, saying that the climate cannot wait. The youth in Paris have been mobilized pretty much every Friday since the first 15th of February to demand climate action, where hundreds of students, in fact, gather to put forth their proposals to the government. <laughs> 